here in my hands and underneath my feet is neither snow nor sand. This is salt from the last mound of handmade sea salt ever produced in Taiwan. Welcome to Chigu, Tainan. What looks like a small mountain of snow is really a huge pile of salt. In the summer, families with small children like to come to Chigu to experience a different kind. At the top of the hill, you can see traces of the salt pans that were here before salt production was completely industrialized. You can still get a feel of how it was made though. These pedal-powered water mills are similar to what workers used to bring in water from the sea. It feels kind of like cycling. Nearby is the Taiwan Salt Museum, which tells the story of the country's 338-year-old salt pan industry that ended in 2001, when labor costs became too expensive to do everything by hand. And every year, the museum also hosts a salt sculpture festival. This year, it's on the 6th and 7th of August. <laughs> Kids absolutely love these crafts, and they're not difficult either. While the little ones play, parents can get a taste of coffee with not sugar, but Himalayan salt added to it. Or perhaps a savory popsicle. Savory almond popsicle. Kind of creamy. It's nutty, and it's salty. It's actually not too bad. So here at the Salt Museum, they have savory popsicles, they have savory coffee, but actually not everything in Chigu is salty, salty, salty. Oyster noodles in these parts are quite common as well, but it's not a noodle soup like most places. Here, it's stir-fried. Restaurants from this area attend the annual Taiwan Culinary Exhibition and are well received. Instead of baking fish in salt, this place bakes eggs and shrimp. Ever had milkfish soup seasoned with pickled baby watermelons? Tainan has some of the best cuisine in the country. Homestyle cooking like this can have visitors want to come back for more. <laughs>